We now return to Nova Climate Change on KPBS. While some assholes remain skeptical about the cause of global warming, two NASA scientists toil away on a more glaring issue. What we're seeing is that the polar ice caps, according to our models, are swiftly receding. Within the next 50 years, the Earth will be completely bald. The doctors have arrived at one simple conclusion. The most effective solution, our focus, is to build a gigantic toupee for the entire planet Earth. Both bring their personal expertise to this growing climate concern. I have a postdoctorate from MIT in climatology, as well as a master's in chemistry and physics from Brown University. I got a paper certificate of appreciation from my six-day course of Adal Sassoon. There are several things to consider. Uh, is this the style the Earth really wants to go for? You know, young, sassy, contemporary, cosmopolitan? Or are we going for a rural look? A laid-back, southern look? Urban? But then we thought, this is a fresh start. You know, in terms of toupee choices and style choices, the sky is the limit. Literally. Literally. <laughs> Literally. Literally. But I meant it figuratively. There are obstacles, of course. Uh, for example, brutal solar winds could come along and blow the wig off, which could be extremely embarrassing for the planet Earth. Also, how does one build a 50 billion gallon tube of hairspray? I don't know. In addition to these obstacles, there are noted detractors. Bald can be incredibly sexy. You know, I look up Bruce Willis or, or me. You know, I think Earth could really be the Bruce Willis or Dr. Kulch of the planetary system. Dr. Kulch runs a climatology center at the Milwaukee University of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, located in the Milwaukee Building in San Francisco, California. He is also the editor for Sexy Smooth, a bald enthusiast magazine. I think it comes down to how you carry yourself. Now, I, for one, think we need to spend a little less time worrying about Earth's ice caps, a little more time worrying about Earth's confidence. This idea is referred to in scientific terms as the Statham Factor. Now, while the Statham Factor is widely regarded in some circles, I think it's important to remember that it is just a theory. So let's be honest, Bruce Willis looks great bald, but he looked a heck of a lot better in Die Hard 1. Never mind Death Becomes Her. Here's the bottom line. We don't want the moon to feel like it's settled. Jupiter is right around the corner, and it's looking great. Will Flack and Taco Taco find the right do? Or will a bald Earth be irresistibly sexy and go on to star in several Guy Ritchie films? One thing remains certain, it's getting hot in her.